So hi everybody, my name is Giselle and I work with the Twitter business team and today I'm going to be walking you through our new campaign form. I'm here on the Compass Gear Twitter profile page, but I'm going to go ahead and go right to Ads Manager so we can launch our first campaign. I'm going to create a new campaign by clicking the Create Campaign button up here. And this will take you to a page where you can see all of the different objectives that we offer. So for this campaign, it's going to be an evergreen campaign and I'm driving people to a website. So I'm going to click the website clicks and conversions objective. At the campaign level, I'm just going to quickly name it. This is my evergreen campaign. And make sure that I have my budget set up. So a daily budget is needed, especially if you're doing an evergreen campaign with no end date, which I'm not going to have. But you can also set a total budget and specify net an end time if you need to. Moving on to the next page, this is my first ad group. And each ad group, you can separate them out and target different audience segments or do some A-B testing. It's really easy to clone multiple ad groups here. Um, for this campaign, since it's my evergreen campaign, I mainly want to target a general audience and I'm going to be sticking with one ad group. So let's just call this ad group one. The start and end time are totally optional here. If you don't select anything here, you're basically just going to be pulling in whatever you selected at the campaign level here. So I'm just going to leave that unselected for now. Total ad group budget is also optional because if you're not setting something up here, again, it's going to pull in what you selected at the campaign level. And for bid type, I'm going to be going with an automatic bid because it's really easy to set up. And I don't need a key conversion metric right now because I'm not tracking any lower funnel stuff, just link clicks. So I'm going to leave that as is and go on to the next page where I'm setting up my creatives. For this campaign, I'm thinking of doing two tweets and these are going to be pulling from my organic profile. So I'm going to select these two right here. If for some reason you made a promoted tweet for this campaign, you'll also find it here. All you need to do is click on the menu here and go to promoted only tweets. And I'm thinking for this campaign that I only want my tweets to show up on the Twitter app. So I'm going to uncheck this box, which expands my audience to the Twitter audience platform. The Twitter audience platform is a great option if you want to expand your tweets to all of our mobile partners. For this campaign, I think I'm just going to skip. So I'm going to go on to next and set up my targeting. Uh, targeting is really important, and since this is a general campaign, my main concern is making sure that I don't have a lot of demographic targeting. But keeping this as broad as possible keeps your audience as open as possible. So on that note, I'm not going to select any gender. All ages are suitable for this campaign, and I'm just going to target this to the United States, which is actually already targeted, so perfect. Scrolling down to audience features, I want to target people who are interested in the outdoors. Um, I have a lot of things to choose from here, events, behaviors, interests, and so on. But what I'm actually going to be using for this campaign is conversation topics. Conversation topics are really great because they're pulling in real-time data about people who are talking about a particular topic. So it's constantly refreshed and really easy to add. So I'm going to target people who are interested in the outdoors. Adding that in there. And that sounds good. I'm in the recommended audience size range. I'm going to approve. I'm not going to target more of my followers, although that is an option right here. So going on to the next page. On this one, all I have to do is review the details and make sure it's correct. So I'm happy with how this campaign looks and I'm going to launch right away. And there you go. It should be showing up in the Ads Manager dashboard. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more tips and tricks about how to use the campaign form, definitely go to business.twitter.com or follow us here on Twitter at Twitter Business.